welcome to the Digital Library of the Caribbean Guide to Digitization. In this brief video, we will cover using a flatbed scanner. Please note that although we utilize an Epson 10,000 XL scanner, any large format graphic arts quality scanner will suffice. The following settings are recommended as preservation standards. 8-bit grayscale or 24-bit color depending on whether the original has significant color, 300 dpi for text, or 600 dpi for standalone images such as photographs, or small, illegible text. We will now place the original on the platen of the scanner. Notice that we do not place the material directly against any edges in order to avoid cropping. Here you see the Epson scanning interface. Please note that you will stay at professional mode with reflective document on the document table and your auto exposure type is photo. Our image type we will select either 8-bit grayscale or 24-bit color depending on the original. Our original today is in color so we will select 24-bit color. We will now select our resolution as stated before either 600 or 300 dpi. In the Epson scanning interface, please scroll all the way to the bottom and ensure that no settings have been checked. We do not want the scanner to make any decisions for us. We will now click the preview button and see a preview of our original. Once the preview image has appeared, we can select the area for scanning. We will do this by simply creating a box around our document. Notice that we are leaving extra space around the document in order to be able to crop and straighten our image later. So do not worry if your image is not perfectly straight now. We will straighten it later in Photoshop. Once you have selected the area to be scanned, click the Scan button. Depending on the scan settings and your computer, scanning may take a few seconds or a few minutes. Once the scan is complete, you can close the Epson scan interface by clicking the Close button. Once the interface is closed, your image will remain open in Photoshop. Here we will maximize the image to facilitate editing. First thing you want to do is straighten your image. Use the measure tool, which can be found under the eyedropper tool, to click and select a straight line on your document. To make it easier on yourself, you're going to want to zoom in to between 50 and 100% in your image by clicking Ctrl plus. Once you have zoomed to the appropriate level, click and drag the measure tool along any edge of your document. You will then select Image, Rotate Canvas, Arbitrary, and the computer will tell you the degree to which your image is crooked. In this case, it is 2.63 degrees. Click OK, and the computer will straighten your image for you. We will now crop the image using the Crop tool. Simply select a box around your image, coming just to the edges. You do not want to crop in on the image or leave a border, making sure to maintain the original scale and proportions. Once you have selected the area to be cropped, you may either double click or press Enter. You can now save your image in the DLock directory created in your C drive under the appropriate bib ID. Pages are scanned in sequential order. We have already scanned page 1. Therefore, this one will be file name 0002. Always save your images in TIFF format for archival purposes. And make sure you uncheck the ICC profile box. Note that TIFF files have no image compression. Once you have saved your image, 
you can close the file and continue scanning the rest of your document. If you would like more information about digitization, please see the manual available at www.dloc.com.